Welcome back. The smartwatch ticks, and I promised you we were going to take the watch apart. I've had so much fun with it that if I actually damage it, it'll be unforgivable. I'll just have, have to buy another one. But I'm not going to damage it because I've been really studying on this, and I've taken precautions, I hope. And these are the same precautions I hope you will, too. There's a lot of information out there on how to take it apart and what to look for. And I want to highlight a few of the important things for you today. To begin with, you need yourself a set of screwdrivers, especially the Phillips head kind, okay? Because you're going to use that to take off the tiny, tiny screws, uh, I've already taken them out because it's a, a delicate process. They're very fragile screws, and it's a very fragile back. So you don't want to do this any more than you need to. And I suggest you put them on masking tape in the order they came out so that you'll know how to put them back in, just in case the threading is different. So with the screws removed and your number one D5 watch ready to examine... Let's begin. This is the number one D5 smartwatch, and we are going to take it apart. We have turned it off. We have taken out the screws, and we're making note that the back has the speaker port near um, the watch band with the clip on it. There's a video online where somebody put it on backwards and uh, it caused all sorts of problems. Those problems can have to do with the waterproofing. Now, this is not really full-on waterproof to go underwater because obviously there's holes that water could get in for the speaker and the microphone. But all in all, because of the way it's set up to charge like this, it's water-resistant. You can splash water on it. But you don't want to damage the integrity of the little seal that goes right around the edge. So you're going to be very, very careful with that, okay? My SIM card slot flopped open. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a back. The back has got the connectors for the power that go in when you slap that in here. Oh, dear. Something already dropped off. That thing came out. I'm going to have to figure out where that went when I turned it over. This is why you got to be so careful. No doubt that's an important part. They wouldn't have put it in there. It probably goes here with the, uh, the laser diode, which are these two holes right here. It's a nice metal back, and these are your strong magnets that hold the charger on from the other direction when you slap the charging cable on. Okay, that's the back. Now let's take a look at the watch. Here's the watch itself. Now, what I have already done, I'm sorry, I cheated a little bit. I wanted to make it look like I knew what I was doing, at least somewhat. Obviously, I don't, but we're working on it. I'm going to take a little bitty screwdriver, like that one. And uh, the metal cover that's sitting in here is held on by some snaps that are right here and here. It snaps down into a little holder here, here, and, and over here on that section right there. And I have already snapped it out and have it floating. The little connector right here will touch the copper down there, and that grounds this hole back. But having pried it out ahead of time, it should be ready to just come out so you can see the inside of it. Or not. All right, good. One of them is snapped back in a little bit. Can you guys see? Is it focusing? I'm looking at the camera now. I'm going to get in here and just pop that out. And there it goes. I'll set that aside, but that cover wants to go back in exactly that way. Make note that that little hooky thing here has to make contact with that metal section there. If it gets bent and doesn't touch that, this won't be grounded and you could have another problem. All right. Some of the things I wanted to tell you about in here uh, are things that I've read on the XDA Developers Forum for this watch, for the um, K8 Mini, and even for the K8. Talk about what might happen if something went berserk in your watch, like it does sometimes in a phone. If you've got a good phone 
Android type phone with a removable battery, that can be a savings for you when you need to like kind of restart everything and you take the battery out. We found out in the um, ZGPAX S8 watch that we had some issues where you kind of needed to disconnect the battery to get it to reboot. And you couldn't because it was soldered in place. So people were draining their battery until it was completely dead and then trying to do something as they first applied power. And, oh, just a mess. Well, not so with this watch. You cannot see the battery, I guess, because it's underneath this main motherboard. But you can see this little connector right here. Okay, here's the buckle side across from the speaker down in this lower corner. I'm going to put my goggle thingy on now. Yeah, that doesn't help. I'm going to look at the... Actually, it looks better to look at the camera. There's the connector for your battery. And one of the things you may be called to do occasionally is take a tiny screwdriver and come up to that connector. Wow. Come on, camera. Help me out here. I'm going to touch it. Focus. Well, we might have to do it a little further away. All right. I'm coming underneath it. Wow. Wow. Guide me here now. I'm going to pop this up like that, and it's out. Okay, the power has been disconnected, and usually you let it sit for a while, you know, just in case there's any current running that needs to drain out to really completely dead start your watch if you have to go that far. I have not heard of anybody having to do that with the D5. It's really stable. It hasn't crashed yet on anything that I've thrown at it. So really good watch. So you disconnect it like that. These other connectors that you see here, like right there and there, and over here, these also look removable. You could pop them up. And that's probably because they lead to wires which appear to be going into the bands. And this is where antennas lie for the various radios. In here, you have a cellular radio, obviously, because you have a place for a SIM card that slides in this slot. You have a GPS, you have Wi-Fi, and you have Bluetooth. So you have at least four different antennas hidden away in here, most likely in these bands. Now this is, oh gosh, this is a tease because usually you don't see pins in bands unless they're removable. Uh, you could pop that out and take a band off and put in another one, right? That's the idea, unless it's got these antennas running through it. So the big question is, ah, can, whoops, <laughs> Good, that's hopefully the only damage that happens. Can these bands actually ever be removed and replaced with other bands? Some people would like to take these antennas and slide them into other bands. Well, I'm a little scared to do this, but just for the sake of us trying it, I want to see if I can actually open that up a little without damaging anything. I am not watching the screen, so if it's out of focus, my apologies. Let's see what happens here. You'll know things didn't work if all this gets edited out. Okay, it's loose. See that? Wow, I don't know how far I can go without making a problem. A little bit more, just hopefully. This is called reality television. Now, if that's partially out, what about this side? It's not moving. 
they might be pretend. I mean, there's no play in it whatsoever, so I, I really don't have a way to move it around more than that. And you can't lift this up either. I'm going to say they're not removable because I'm not going to go much further than this. If it's not sliding out easy with a little bit of play so that I could move it back and you could see wires, I don't want to take it too much further because it might actually really damage it. In fact, I don't even think I popped it out. I think it's still right in its slot. This one's similar. I'll give it one try just in case. Oh, I don't like doing this. Can't tell, is it out? Wow. Well, that's, that's as far, I, I hope you understand if it was a broken watch, no problem. But this is my baby. I don't want to go any further than that. I would say they're not removable. However, you'll find in the XDA developers forum for this watch, folks are talking about getting even metal bands and attempting to take this out and pull the antennas out of the band. They want to see what they look like. Are they just inserted there? Or are they glued in place? Can you like unstitch it somehow, dig them out, destroy this band, but keep the antennas? Which antennas are where? Where's GPS? Where's Bluetooth? Where's Wi-Fi? Where's cellular? So that you can work with it, you know, if you want to keep a certain one, be careful on that one, but the others just rip them out. Lots of questions, not very many answers. We're waiting for these things to die, I guess, so that folks can start to dissect their broken watches. And then we'll know. So follow the XDA developers forums if this is of interest to you. If you're just a consumer and not probably going to ever open your watch, this maybe satisfies your curiosity. And if you're an experimenter and you end up in a situation where the watch continuously reboots, that seems to be a thing that happens sometimes. Or it crashes and it won't start up or the battery's not holding a charge, or any reason at all that it might be worthwhile to disconnect the battery, look for that connector opposite the buckle side and the speaker of the watch, and just lift it up out of position. And when you're done, hopefully, you just press it right back in again, and you're good to go. The SIM card goes here, like typical. It just flopped open earlier. It flops that way. You lay your Nano SIM card, right? The Nano is the one that works with the iPhone 5 and higher. The Micro was the one that works with the 4S and lower. The Micro is what's used in the uh, S8, the ZGPAX S8. The Nano is what's used in the D5. Any way you look at it, it goes here. There is no place for a SIM card in this watch. Or, I mean, that is the SIM card. For an SD card, there's no external memory. All the memory resides in here. It is pretty component-driven, though, so that you could, like, possibly pop that thing out. That could be memory and put in more. I'm not sure. You see here, there's a, a ribbon cable that's going into there. That could probably pop out, whatever it is, and maybe those numbers would, would help tell you what it is. We don't have to worry about one of those USB connectors breaking, because, like on the uh, S8, because it's not charged that way. It's charged with this other good stuff here on the uh, back plate. All right? I am not going to show you how to put it back together because I'm going to really check to make sure these are back in place. I'm going to find where that little piece fell out of, and I'm going to make sure this is in alignment. Just be careful that when you put it back together, again, the speaker side is toward the uh, buckle side, and you're really careful laying it back down, and you take your screws and put them back in the same holes they came out of, 
and do not over tighten these. It's like aluminum on steel or something, and it seems that you could rip them pretty easily if you don't have any extras. Some of these watches actually ship with a tiny screwdriver and an extra bag of screws. If you're lucky enough to have gotten that, well, you're in good shape. If you didn't, and I didn't, you have to kind of come up with your own toolkit and your own extra screws if anything happens to them. The number one D5 breakout. <laughs> Take apart, rip apart, and restore. If uh, it's still working, boing, you're going to see some more videos from me. If it's not, well, you may see a donate button to help me buy another one. Either way you look at it, thanks for watching. Hope you're subscribing, and uh, we will have many more goodies to come. This is so much fun.